Good news out of Alabama tonight about the pipeline break that caused the shortage here in Georgia and other southern states. Officials with Colonial Pipeline tell us that workers have completed the bypass segment around the leak. And that means gas could soon be on the way to stations that have run dry. Georgia and five other states have seen shortages because of the break. And Fox 5's Ariel Gurian has a look at when the shortages could end. We're told today that as of this morning, that main gas pipeline in Alabama, which leaked about 6,000 barrels of gas a little over a week ago, is finally fixed. And that's good news for Georgia drivers. That's a huge relief <laughs> because I've been on E since yesterday. You want to drive or you don't want to drive because you're scared you might not get gas the next day. Tuesday morning, Colonial Pipeline announced the bypass repair to its main pipeline is complete. And pending integrity test results, Colonial expects to reopen the pipeline on Wednesday. So uh, that's good news, and uh, hopefully supplies will, uh, will be getting back to normal by the end of the week. Prices went up an average of 27 cents from last week, 15 cents above the national average. And some stations around the state have been simply out of gas altogether, leaving many drivers anxious to be on the road. A lot of sta gas stations, they, they don't have gas, but some that do. You can't get it. It's too expensive. In the meantime, until the pipeline is officially up and running, the Georgia Department of Agriculture issued a waiver this week, allowing stations to sell their winter blend six weeks early. We're hoping that it will free up supplies and uh, and will help uh, get everything back to normal quicker. Allowing drivers to get back on the road soon without worry. Because if not, it's going to be real bad. Now, it'll still take a few days for the fuel supply chain to fully recover, but Georgia drivers can start seeing lower prices and fewer outages as the week continues. In Atlanta, Ariel Gurian, Fox 5 News.